This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, I could not decide what I wanted to do with my nails at first. So I'm just going to play around with some of these Glam and Glitz acrylics and just decide what colors I wanted to do. So I know I wanted to use one of these glow powders. So this first one is called Carpe Diem and it is so pretty. It is a beautiful mint color. And then this other glow powder is called Wicked Lava and I couldn't decide on these two, so. <laughs> um, so for my nail bed color, we have medium blush, and I really, really like this one. And then this color is called Bare White, and it is a natural brown. And then finally we have Prima Ballerina, and this is the most gorgeous glitter acrylic I've ever seen. <laughs> so while I'm deciding that, I am just going to show you guys this new Russian drill bit set that I picked up from a local nail tech. Thank you, Sunita. This set comes with four manicure bits, surgical scissors, a cuticle pusher, and she also threw in a flame bit. And I must say that I can definitely tell the difference. I have bought from AliExpress, Gearbest, and like all those cheap places. <laughs> and these drill bits are the real deal. I can definitely, definitely tell the difference. Um, so these are the drill bits that you see in those Russian manicure videos. And I want that look. And so I decided to invest and get these. Um, she does sell them separately, I believe, but I just went ahead and got the kit because I want them all. So if you guys are interested, I will definitely leave her info down below. All right, so I'm going to start off by pushing back my cuticles and then I use the opposite end to scrape up any of that dead skin from my nail plate. And this cuticle pusher, oh my God, it just, <laughs> I barely even tapped in like my dead skin and all that stuff was coming up. Like it's crazy. All right, so I decided to go with this flame bed here. I think that's what it's called. And I'm just gonna work that around my cuticle area as well. And it is just like butter. It's getting up everything. Like it's, it's crazy. <laughs> After all of the cuticle prep, I'm applying dehydrator and then primer. And as you guys can see, my cuticles look so much better. <laughs> all right, so I'm doing some ombre nails and I decided to go with that mint green color. Um, and I'm also using a larger acrylic brush. This one is a size 14. And this is a paintbrush, okay? <laughs> this thing is so huge and I am not used to it. But I decided to go ahead and try to use a bigger brush. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I went to a nail tech to get my nails done. A video on that will be coming soon. And she uses a larger brush. I believe it was a size four, 14. And she was um, just giving me tips on how to increase my brush size because she's like, girl, a uh, eight is way too small. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try. Um, but yeah, it is a lot. Like, oh my god, I just I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my god, this nail is a disaster. All right, so I switched to my number 10 brush. <laughs> We're gonna take baby steps here. <laughs> this one is my alpha number 10 brush and um, I, I'm so much more comfortable with this one. Even though it is a little bigger, um, I can work with it so much better. So yeah, I did switch over to a size 10 to do the rest of the set. And as you can see, this acrylic is just forming like butter. Um, this is from Glam and Glitz once again. This is my second time trying out their acrylics. Um, they sent me a whole PR box full of goodies and I'm just getting around to using them. Um, but I love the acrylics. They are just so creamy, so easy to work with. So for that nail bed color, I'm using medium blush. And this is so pretty. It reminds me of my pink nude. <laughs> it is just so, so pretty. 
um but yes i really really like this color it's so easy to blend um and yeah as you guys can see i'm just kind of bent blending that over that green color and just adding um more beads of acrylic here and there where i see fit just to get that blend perfect And as always, keeping this layer kind of thin because I am going to go over it with a little bit of clear just to seal in all of my hard ombre work. So by the time I got to my thumb, I did get pretty used to using the size 10 and I am just killing it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> last time I tried to use a larger brush like you guys tore me up from the inside out about it because you guys were like oh my god it's so wet it's like you know you gotta practice so I also love that with the new manicure set, my cuticles are much cleaner and that allowed me to get super, super close to my cuticles and just make it look so flush. All right, so after applying all of that medium blush, I'm just gonna go in with some clear acrylic and just place that where the medium blush and that mint green color meets. Um, just to make sure that ombre stays put when I do my shaping and filing. So this is after all of the acrylic is dry and I'm just going to do my shaping and falling. So after all of that is done, I'm going to go in with some bling and I'm applying the Poochie's Nails Bling Gel and I'm applying it rather generously um, because I'm applying some really chunky crystals. Um, so after I apply the bling gel, I'm just going to go over that with the Poochie's Nails Gel Top Coat and just making sure it's evenly coated um, because we want it all just to be even, you know. <laughs> so after that, I'm applying my chunky crystals where that big glob of bling gel is and I'm just randomly placing some crystals here and there and all about. And this is how it looks. And I went ahead and cured that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm applying the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat to the rest of the nails. And I just love how these turned out. These are so, so cute. And the ombre came out just perfect. All right, so after carrying that in my LED lamp for 60 seconds, I'm applying cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. Just so classy and dainty and oh my God. <laughs> I really like how these turned out. And we can't forget that glow, honey, okay? Like these nails glow, okay? like your sleep in your bed nighttime glow <laughs> but these are so so cute i am so happy and i really really like this color i can't wait to try out that glow in a dark orange as well this is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show yeah